my new leg. I can walk. Careful, Mill. You're gonna break it in easy. Yeah, not over 20 miles an hour for the first 500. Let me go, Bob. You can't help me all my life. Let me try again. Okay. a cripple. And you can't tell it's a cropper. The people won't be staring at me anymore. And I'll be a regular guy and get a job. A job? You think you'll get a job. What do you mean? See, I've been reading these want ads for two weeks. Nobody's taken on disabled men. Don't say that, John. It's a big world. There's a place for all of us somewhere. Nah, that's a lot of boys. We're through. Washed up. Done for. Ah, oh, you're a pessimist. A man's never looked till he admits it. Look at Mills. Well, look at yourself. You were gassed the same as I was. How are you going to spend the rest of your life out in the open air and the sunshine like the Doc ordered? That's easy. Yeah? Yeah. Come here. Take a look at the bulletin board. The government's giving away homestead land out west. We have 90 days preference. Three months to pick out the best land for ourselves. Well, what do you think of it, Bob? Great. The hospital could do no more for us. We've got to do something. And it may as well be homestead. I'll go for Dad. As John says, there ain't much use for one on taxi driver. A peg like policeman. Hey, what's it like out there, Bob? Let's ask Lil by Johnson. He's from the West. He ought to know. Yeah, he knows it all. He wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's all right. You want to know anything about the West? Ask him. Ask him an Indian. He'll tell you. <laughs> You're just saying that. You don't want me to feel that you sacrificed your education to come along. Now, what's a diploma compared to an only brother? You've taken care of me for years, and now I'm taking care of you. But, sis, I don't want you to be my nurse. All right, I'll be a school mom. There's half a dozen children in the party, and I'm going to start classes as soon as we reach the San Juan Valley. You win, teacher. Uh, we've got to put up there overnight. Okay. Come on. Let me escort the lady. 
All set, partner. Let her go. We're going to town. Yes, Where's my brother? He's over there learning the boys how to play draw poker. You lose, boss. Plenty more where that came from. I wouldn't be too sure of that, Alden. What's on your mind, Brack? There's another batch of homesteaders on the way out here. Well, we've got rid of nesters before. But you can get rough with this outfit. There are war bedrooms and the government's behind them. What do you want to do? Let them move in and take all this away from us? <laughs> Look at Bull and Uncle Nate's men and meet those veterans in Carrizosa. with the best cook in Arizona on our payrolls. Why we have to eat in saloons is beyond me, Stoney. Well, we made a bet, didn't we? Yeah, well, I lived up to my part of the bargain, didn't I? Spent the last six months on the ranch working hard and taking orders from you, didn't I? <laughs> you sure did, Stoney. All right, now you're gonna live up to your part of the bargain. You're gonna spend the next six months traveling with me, and we'll find some, some real, real excitement. excitement. <laughs> no, Stoney. This is 1919. The wild and woolly days are over. You hear that? Modern times, Stoney. Yeah, that must be one of those veterans that were coming out here, huh? Yeah, we haven't seen one of those contraptions since we left France. I haven't seen one of those since I, uh... I'm talking about the motorcycle. Come on, let's have some chow. Oh, hello, boys. How are you? We're so hungry we could eat rawhide. But we'll settle for steak and beans. You know, a big steak and little beans. How would you like your steak, senor? Well, now, um, I'd like mine cut as far from the horns as possible. As far Come on, me. cut out the chatter. Let's have the chow. How bad? Oh, no. All right, come on, come. Howdy, boo. Howdy. How's everything in the San Juan? Oh, we're doing all right for ourselves. Hey, uh, by the way, where are those veterans who are going to take our least range away from us? Oh, just a few miles out of town, I heard. They ought to be here any minute. Well, we'll wait for them. Keep 
I said good morning, Miss Bryant. Would you miss me if I did? I certainly would, like I'd miss a headache. Well, you'll probably feel a lot better then, because Tucson and I are pulling off this morning. Goodbye. Oh! Oh, well, Mr. Brooks! Sony! I, I'm sorry for the way I acted. You've been wonderful to us, and I want you to know I appreciate it. Honest? Honest. You really hate to see me go, and you do like me. Well, then I won't go. Uh, I didn't intend to, anyhow. I just wanted to hear you say you liked me. Goodbye, Miss Bryant. to look like an accident. Don't worry. When I touch off that charge of dynamite, they'll never know what happened. Nothing when you ride a motorbike. <laughs> Let's get it over here. Why don't you ride a horse? I can't. Listen, fellas, I'm not a Westerner. He's not a Westerner. Not a Westerner. Oh, I wanted to be. I've always wanted to be, ever since I started reading Wild West magazines. I could, too, if I had a chance. Gee, I'd give anything in the world to be a real Westerner like you. Two lives I've saved. 
Look, you folks better turn out your horses to graze and check your wagons and make repairs. Come on, Tucson, we're taking a ride. Hey, wait. I'm going with you. Uh, no, thanks. We need a westerner right here to ride herd on those horses. Well, I'll be doing it. <laughs> Yippee! Where are you going, Stoney? Something tells me that landslide can stand a little looking over. As soon as they're settled, boys, we'll drive off their horses. Just as I thought, that landslide was no accident. Now, who'd do a rotten thing like that? I'm doing all right. You see that? He's got his gang with him. Let's get out of here. Come on! Look at that guy ride. You all right, fellas? Couldn't be better. Hey, where's the rest of the outfit? The rest of the outfit? Oh, I was just bluffing. Well, I'll be all tight. Say, uh, what kind of shells are you shooting? Blanks. They wouldn't sell me anything else in Chicago. Partner, let me shake your hand. Gosh, thanks. Shooting all them. Nothing goes but accidents. Won't be long before they're stringing fences, breaking sod, and building homes. All the better. When a man loses something he's put a lot of work into, he's liable to get discouraged and pull out. You're right, Frank. Let them come and see how they like. There it is, Marion. The promised land. Oh, Bob, it's beautiful. Look at that land. I'll bet it's good for 60 bushels to the acre. Don't forget, Mel, we're 50-50. I'll do your share of the plowing, and you cut my share of the wood, see? Okay. And the woods are full of deer, and the creeks are full of trout. What do you think of it, Pete? What I think? Yeah. What I think? Wait a minute, I tell you 
what I think. Tucson to hear you say it. Well, was it the Tucson that I like you? He bet me $5 you'd say it tonight. Stony Brook! Hey, Parker! Marion, I was just kidding. I don't want Tucson's $5. I'm sure glad to hear that.
Yes. It'll take five men to pay for my brother. Get fresh horses. Gentlemen, something I can do for you? We've been losing a lot of cattle since you and Nestor's hit this valley. Oh, you won't find them in my pasture or any other veteran. Come on, I'll show you. Wait a minute. Think you're going to ride over? But I can't ride. Oh, you can't ride? Well, it's about time you learn. Here, take my horse. Oh, but it's against the doctor's orders. And you see, I, I was gassed. Oh, he's nice and gentle. He oh, won't hurt you. Oh, but I tell you, I can't ride. It's, it's not good for me. Boys, put him on. Don't, please don't. Don't get put me on, on that horse. I can't. Get oh, him please, on, man. Don't. don't. Don't put me up on that horse. I'll stick. Really, I am. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I can't ride over. Yes, oh, tie him on there don't, and he won't fall off. Please. Oh. 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 Oh.
Can I help you? No, thank you. Sony, you can't leave that there. Bob. What are you doing? Taking a snooze? Come on. Wake up. Where are you going, fellas? To town. Oh, I'm going with you. No, thanks, partner. But the Canfield's a lane for you, too. You might need me. Oh, uh, we'll be all right, Lullaby. Listen, I'm not so bad in a fight. Look at here. 
Well, the French, they fight for glory. The English fight for land. The Americans fight for souvenirs. <laughs> Say, I'll tell you what you can do. You stay here, and by all means, keep all the veterans out of town. Oh, well, wait a minute. Keep the boys out of town, huh? Cut loose now. Remember, our aim is to get Brack to admit that he killed Bob. I'll do my part. Hey, Barkey. Where's the sheriff? He's out of town. What do you want to see him about? Oh, I, uh, I want to swear out a warrant for the man who murdered Bob Bryant. Well, I understood his lungs were bad. He was murdered. And I saw the man who did it. Any of you know where the deputy is? Who did it? I'm telling that to the sheriff. Ed, go get the deputy. Stranger in the saloon who says he saw you haze Bob Brent. Well, what about it? He aims to charge you with murder. Oh, he does, does he? He'll make the third nest of the side to pay for all of them, and I aim to get two more. He's not a nester. He's one of those cowpunchers helping him. We'll get him when he comes out. Well, I guess I'll go for that deputy myself. Thanks for the confession, Brack. Tell the 
troops, Suzanne. This is better than ranching. Not for my money. Keep the veterans out of town, huh? <laughs> I'm not the kind of a fellow you think I am. No. No. That Spanish girl in Carrizoza didn't mean a thing to me. No. no. Marion, will you stop saying no? It's beginning to scare me. No. What's the matter? You're busy. I won't bother you. You stay here. I'll take care of it. Hey, Carol, what? Our ranch. Rustlers just made off with 400 head and killed one of the boys. But I'll take care of it. Oh, is that so? Marion. I'll come back someday and finish what I was saying. Goodbye. Hey, fellas! Wait for my baby! Hey, fellas! Wait for me! Listen, fellas. If you let me go with you, yeah, gee, I'll try awful hard to be useful. Come on, partner. I'm a Westerner. Yes, sir. 